Uh, you've just been warming up here, and you know, you're traveling, you're fighting here in another country, and you know, traveling is sometimes an issue. How are you feeling physically? Uh, physically amazing. You know, this isn't my first time. I've been fighting internationally for a long time. I know what to do. I, I have a process. Um, I feel great. You know, I came here, uh, I left the United States on Sunday, got here on Monday, used them as rest days, and my body feels great. I've adjusted to the time. You know, couldn't feel better. You know, I feel like a veteran at doing this now and kind of enjoy it, you know, checking out the city of Berlin. I love it, all the landmarks and the history here. So it's been an awesome trip, and, you know, towards the end of the week, it'll be time to get down to business. Well, you looked like a veteran in your last fight where you also fought abroad, where you knocked out the system of time there. Uh, just coming off such a spectacular win where I think you were the underdog as well if I'm not mistaken. Is that sort of coming off such a spectacular win, does that give you extra motivation to sort of climb the ladder even further here in Berlin? Yeah, I mean, anytime you, you can finish someone in spectacular fashion, you know, you feel that your fan base grows, people start getting behind you. So, you know, that's what you got to do. You got to finish fights. No one wants to see a, a decision or a guy that's eking out decisions. You know, they want people to finish fights. Me personally, I want to finish fights based on, you know, my, last, my fight with Tim Bosch. When it went to the judges, you know, you never know how it's going to go. So, like I was telling uh, the guy before, if, you know, if I get finished in that process, and at least I can deal with that, knowing that, you know, the guy did beat me, but to lose because the judges decide, you know, you didn't win the fight or whatever, it kind of sucks, so uh, I'm going to go out and I'm going to look to finish the fight, make it exciting, mix it up, and, you know, make the fans happy. So, you mean, how, how do you prepare for a fight like this, um, you know, such a different opponent to what you had last time, that a guy like Francis Carmine, let's, let's not be around the bush, he's, he's pretty um, you know, I believe it's both guys. It's a job to put on a great performance out there. If you're going to let a guy take you down and hold you down, you're just as well as accountable as he is, you know. He's going to do, you know, he's going to take the win with the easiest route. If he's able to do that to you and neutralize you, like, that's your problem. I'm not going to let that happen, you know, I, I train with guys like Ryan Bader, Ryan Jimmo, big 205 pounders, those are my main training partners. Ryan Bader, a couple time All-American wrestler. Um, so I'm used to dealing with big strong guys, it's not going to be an issue, I know how to get up, I'm going to hold my own in the wrestling and, uh, you know, it's going to be an exciting fight, we're, we're going to fight, I'm going to make him fight. Oh, of course he presents challenges, you know, he's going to come forward, he is going to try to take me down, he is going to try to neutralize me. Um, I just can't let that happen, you know, I prepared for it, and now it's time to put my work to the test. Do you see yourself having a striking advantage against him? Uh, you know, I don't know. Uh, I guess we'll find out when we get out there in the octagon and start throwing down. You know, someone's going to, something's going to happen, someone's going to get knocked out, and uh, pretty sure it isn't going to be me. No, that's that's great. You know, uh, I like the guy personally. You know, I like watching him fight. If you understand the ground game and whatnot, uh, see what he's doing. You know how hard it is to do what he's doing. But a lot of the fans don't respect that. Obviously, you know, me coming from a grappling uh, background, I understand it. Um, at the same time, though, I know what the fans want. Um, I've I've changed my style over the last couple fights, as you guys have probably noticed. Uh, you know, my Mayhem Miller fight, I was in a position where, you know, about to lose my job. I went out, neutralized him, did what I needed to do to get my victory, keep my job. And the fan reaction to that was not a good one. You know, I got a lot of people, a lot of backlash for that. And it made me realize, you know, people want to see finishes. People want to see people get knocked out or submitted. So I'm going balls to the wall and looking to get, get that fan base, move up that ladder get that title shot you know I want to get in the title picture this year and, and a victory over Francis will do that for me what do you think of the next opponent if you, you know, do beat Francis where do you think that puts you in the top 15 and who do you think you might be able to fight next I'm not even thinking about the next opponent Francis is a uh, he's a tough a tough competitor you know I'm not gonna look past this guy I've done that in the past and wound up you know not in the top 15 dropping back in you know in the 20s and 30s uh, so yeah, you don't look past a guy like Francis Carmont. I have one focus, and that's him. And after I get the job done on uh, Saturday night, then we'll talk. Do you, do you care about rankings? Do you look at the rankings quite regularly? 
Um, obviously, I care about the rankings because that's how you get a title shot. You know, you have to be ranked at least in the top ten. You got to be a contender. Um, if you're not, you're, you're never going to get a title shot. So obviously, I care about him. Um, and if, obviously, I know where he's ranked. And I know what a victory over him could do for me. We spoke to Francis earlier on, and we asked him about some of the criticism he's got from fans about being a boring fighter. Um, and he said that that's something that he's looked on, and he's looking to change that moving forward in his career. So do you think that you might be seeing a brand new Francis Carmont in terms of how he might be performing in Stu on Saturday night? Um, I don't know. We'll find out. You know, if he's... Uh he may be forced in, into an exciting fight, you know. Uh, I like to put on exciting fights, it's, you know. I've changed my style up. It's going to be an exciting fight. I believe I have the tools to do it. A lot of other guys in the division don't. I believe I do. I match up well. It's going to be an exciting fight. You better tune in. Someone's going to sleep.